Hi ladies! I know it's been forever and a day since I did a video. The last video I did was way back in September of last year. And I said I got to come on here and I just, and you know, update you guys on what's been going on with me. And I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And then, you know, I really just had to um, kind of take a break from, you know, doing TTC videos and whatnot. But um, I had to come back on here and let you know what's been going on with me. Just kind of update you guys. Not a whole lot has changed since the last time that I had. You know, I've been on here and did a video for you guys. But I just wanted to come on here and just kind of let you know what's what, what's been going on, where I've been, what I've been doing, and what I am going to do. Um, so, I want to start off by saying, um, as far as TTC is concerned, um, I have not really done anything any differently since the last time that I spoke to you all. Um, as far as the TTC is concerned, I still have been charting, but as far as TTC, I really have just kind of completely have just placed it in God's hand. And I just said, it's going to be what it's going to be. Um, I mean, my boyfriend, like I said, we, it'll be nine years for us coming this June and we have just decided to kind of take some time and just really kind of focus on our relationship and let's see where this is going to end up because I've said in a previous video I think in my intro video to this channel that you know this TTC thing was kind of weighing on our relationship and as far as I was concerned that it was kind of weighing and kind of determining on where the relationship was going to go from here you know if I can have a child or not because it was something that I know he really wanted but I think right now as time is progressing and the older that we are getting he's getting a little bit more laid back on the situation now I think right now he's just at a point where if it happens it happens if it don't it don't which is kind of where I am now I'm not giving up like I said, we're not going to prevent, we're not preventing, but we've been together for nine years, none preventing. And not a whole lot has, you know, not a big, you know, nothing has really, you know, come forth as far as that concerned. Um, but I've been dealing with this for most of my life, ever since my last, my first, my miscarriage that I had back when I was 21, 22 years old. And um, with a previous boyfriend. And that's when I really started getting concerned about it. And so, and I'm 33 now, soon be 34 in April. And so, you can say that's over the course of 13, 14 years that you can pay, basically say that I have been TTCing, but not really TTCing, just not have been preventing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, we're just going to place it in God's hand and we're just going to let it be. My reason for being gone for so long from the TTC community I still had been coming on here watching you guys videos but just not as often as I was in the beginning I will only get on here maybe once every two weeks you know just kind of catch up and see what's going on with you ladies um, I had to just kind of take a break I had to I had to kind of let it go some because it had started to kind of take over my life I was starting to feel the pressure of age coming, starting to feel the pressure of like time is just winding up for me. And so, and I was just start to feel really, really, really down about the situation and just, you know, I, I just, I had to get away from it um, because I had to start letting it consume my whole, it was all I thought about. I ate, slept, breathed, drank, drank. TTC every day all day and that alone right there was going to start bearing the pressure and taking the pressure um, or taking a toll on the relationship itself it was gonna the relationship has started to become being about all about TTC versus being about the relationship and focusing on the relationship in itself 
So I didn't want that to be, I didn't want to let the burdens of my issues become the burdens of the relationship itself, if that makes sense. Um, so, and when I said it, it would start consuming me. It was because I would get on here and it was days that I had days that I would just cry for whatever reason, just would be crying. I, 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 I guess you could say I found myself going into like this depression about the TT, the whole TTC situation. And so when I started stepping back from watching the videos so much as I was, I started finding myself and start feeling a little better by saying, if I just take my way, myself away from around the situation, then I can kind of pick myself up and then in that way I can just feed it to me little by little as if I'm doing now. Um, I would I come on here now about maybe once, maybe twice a week and I kind of catch up and watch you guys' videos as we go. And um, in other words, I'm kind of, I'm spoon feeding it myself, feeding, spoon feeding it to me little by little as far as keeping up with you guys' videos because, and since I've been gone, so many of you have had have gotten your BFPs, and I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so ha so so happy. TTC for li TTC life. Um, I'm so happy for you that you finally got your BFP. Um, Jamie Nicole, I believe that's her name. She's got her finally got her BFP, and those things are just so amazing to me. And I'm so happy for you guys. Um, and I'm gonna be real honest with you. But I was watching the videos starting, you know, back in last year. And I was seeing so many people. And I'm going to try not to make this video so long. But I've been gone for so long. So I got a lot to say. I might have to split this up and make it two parts. But, um, and I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. When I saw some of you guys on here getting your BFPs. And it's not that I wasn't happy for you. But it made me feel some type of way. You know, it made me start thinking that, hmm, will it ever happen for me? But yet, at the same time... It would make me feel like, well, if it happened for them, surely it would happen for me. So, um, you know, it just kind of, it was kind of like this back and forth thing. You know, I would feel kind of down and, and a part of me would feel kind of like a little bitter, envious or whatever for those that it was happening for. And then at the same time, I'd be happy for you and be like, okay, if it happened for them, it's going to happen for me. Um, another thing... I don't know if it's just me. There's a, I have, we have a new baby in the family. Uh, it's my great nephew, which my sister's, my sister's son has had a son. Like I told y'all in my, one of my intro videos, I said my, my, I have one niece and bukus of nephews, okay? And, um, my niece being the oldest, she was the first one. I was 13 years old when she was born, when she was born, so she's. 21, 22, should be 21 or 22, come May, um, she has two, one on the way, hmm, so, um, and my nephew, my great nephew has a son now, and he's two to three months old, no, not, no older than three months, since the baby has been born, I have held the baby twice. I have found myself in this place, and I don't know how I got there. It wasn't intentionally, but I think it's something that just kind of happened along the way. But I have found myself that, I don't know if some of you ladies can relate to this. If you can, just comment down and let me know that I'm not crazy or I um, feel, you know, or wrong for feeling like this or, or wrong for letting this happen. But anyway, um, or if I am, <laughs> because if that's the case, if I am, maybe I might need to seek some kind of counseling. If that, you know. But um, I found myself, I have completely shut down my feelings, my emotions, my affections, or whatever towards baby. I held my great nephew, his name is Aiden, and when I held him for the first time, and each time that I held, I've held, you can literally count how long on one finger. I may have held him like three, four minutes maybe, each time. 
and I'm ready to give it back because I just can't deal. So, um, I held the baby, and when you know, usually when you hold a baby, your heart melts for a baby. You get all gooey, oh, he's so cute, you know, when you hold a baby. Me, on the other hand, I think I was just playing my part as a great aunt. Excuse me, I think I was just playing my role. Okay, I'm the great aunt. I guess I should hold the baby because I should hold the baby. Not because I wanted to. Not because I just love the baby. I love the baby. I love my great nephew. But you know, you understand what I'm saying. I held the baby and it was like he was in my arms. And I'm like, hmm. I felt absolutely no emotional attachment to him. I felt absolutely nothing. And maybe it's because it had been such a long time since I've held a baby. I kind kind of stray away from babies and kind of keep myself at a distance from babies. So that may be the part of it because my youngest nephew, which, which is my sister's youngest child, is seven years old. I, that, that has been my baby since he was a baby. That's just been my heart. He would love to come stay with TT, TT, TT. It's all about TT. I love him to death. And so that was that's that was the last baby. Well, he wasn't the last, but he was the last nephew. And then I have some great nephews. So, but when I held him, I felt absolutely nothing. I think I've put up this brick wall around my heart, around that part of my heart. When it comes to babies. And I felt. Absolutely nothing. And it kind of stunned me. And because I don't know if it's bitterness. Anger. Or what it is. But I can see a baby. And everybody else can be like. Oh look at the baby. She's so cute. Or he's so cute. And I'm like. Mm, yeah. He's cute. Yeah. She's cute. I see him. And I don't see him. You know. So. I don't know where that come from and when did that even started, but I think that was my coping mechanism for dealing or coping with my inability to have children, my inability to um, to to feel. You know, I just wanted to numb myself towards babies and did not want to feel anything because then that would bring back my feelings and my emotions on how I'm not able to experience those same things. So. You know, if that makes sense. But, um, it's, it's been a journey. And I think it's going to always continue to be a journey. And be some issues that you're going to have to deal with. Until you get of age where you know that you cannot, for real, for real, have children. And so, and I think that's something that I think I'm probably going to always wrestle with. And I'm going to try to work on turning those emotions and those feelings back on now a child of age of talking and walking age let's just say two and three on up i have no problem with i'll play with them before i will play with the baby i don't know that's just me but um like i said i just wanted to come on here update you guys like i said we're we're gonna try to focus more so on our relationship and not so much as ttcm and I just place it in God's hand. Because, you know, when something is just, I've said this before, you can do all that you can and you know how to do. You can take all the drugs in the world. But if something is just not in God's plan or not in God's will for you, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Now, true enough, God help those that help themselves. And sometimes you need that help for things to happen. But sometimes you can make things happen that was not meant to happen. And then you have all these kind of troubles and issues that you shouldn't have to deal with in the first place. But um, I'm just going to place it in God's hand. And if it happened, it's happened. I'm not going to put a whole lot of pressure on it. I'm not preventing. I'm still charting and keeping track of my cycles. Um, right now, I am in my two-week wait right now. I can't quite recall or tell you what cycle day I'm on because I'm trying not to keep 
as good of a track on it because like I said I want I don't want to um become so consumed with it and be able to tell you that I'm such such date and this that, that you know but I know I'm in my to be way actually according to my fertility friend um and flow should be due one day next week 23rd or 24th um, my last cycle was December 25th. November was December 25th. I mean, I mean November was the, <laughs> November cycle was came November 25th. A few days right before Thanksgiving, and then it came on the day of Christmas. Um, October. That's another thing. I think the last video I told you I skipped my period um, in August. And I had one in September because the questionable month was the cycle, the period for October. Because I told you previously, for the past three years, I had skipped the month of October. That was the only month out of the whole entire year that I would skip, and that was October. So the questionable month was, was I going to actually, was I going to skip August and October? But I did have a cycle for October. Um, September cycle was, came on September 3rd. 13th, I believe, because me and my girl Georgia P. Tay, girl, we started our cycle then on that same day. Um, then I can't remember when it came on for October, I can't remember, but I did have one. November was de um, November 25th, December was on the 25th, and so I'm waiting to see what the month is. And according to my breast, I believe she will actually eventually show her face next week um because she there my breasts are already starting trying to get a little tender um i um as far as any symptoms that i've had been and i'm for the past three days except for today yeah the past let's see today's wednesday Mon sunday monday and tuesday i've had like i had like these little twinges or the cramps and the my lower left abdomen part of my stomach i had that going on the start of sunday night they were really 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 mild and they kind of went away then when i woke up monday morning um sometime they kind of started back and they were off and on off and on tuesday they were still laying around and kind of got whew, this is really going on so i don't know what that was about i don't try to put a whole lot or read too much into anything that's going on with my body because of don't want to get my hopes up high and don't want to be too terribly disappointed but i just wanted to come back on here and you know let you guys know what was going on with me i'm still here i'm still kicking i'm still alive still breathing in the land of the living it's i've, I've been gone a while like i said congratulations to all those who've gotten their bfps baby dust to those who are still waiting um um uh, let's see what else. Oh, as far as this channel is concerned, I don't know as far as how often that I will be doing TTC updates. I'm really thinking about just only updating you guys when I just really have something to update you about. Just coming on every now and then letting you guys know what's what what's going on. Um, I had another channel on here, but I took that channel down. And I think I'm going to combine those two, the the two channels. And on this one, I think I'm going to start doing other videos on this channel other than TTC. Um, just because I don't have a whole lot of TTC updates to bring to you. And so just to keep the channel going, I think I'm going to come on here and do other videos, you know, besides TTC. I love to do hair videos. That's what my other channel was about, hair and doing hauls and stuff like that. So, um, you will probably be seeing some videos from there. You probably will be seeing some videos also, um, the slideshow videos from my business as well on here. So, I just, you know, wanted to let you know, guys, you know, where this, the direction that this channel is going to be going in also. I think I have covered about everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about at this point I think I have um, if I haven't I'm not sure when I will do another video but like I said I don't know how 
often that I will be coming back on here doing videos or doing up TTC update videos because I don't have a whole lot to update you guys and I don't want to just come get on here just rambling about nothing um but I will do a video I guess when cycle day one come along I, I, I guess I will do that when cycle day one comes back around this cycle then I will do a video just to kind of let you know and then probably do a video this is what I would do I'll do a video on cycle day one and I would be doing videos on cycle day one okay so that'd be like once a month every time cycle day one comes along I'll update you guys what went on what happened during you know that the past cycle so cycle day one come along I do your video and kind of let you know well, you know what's going on right now during this cycle. So, I'm in my two-week wait. And, as far as I know, I don't know if I have let it, but I think I did. Not sure. But, anywho. And when cycle day one comes, then I will do another update video. And just kind of let you know, today's cycle day one, blah, blah, blah. So, that would be it. And, I'm going to get off right now because I'm 21 minutes. And, y'all don't want to sit here and watch a 30-minute, 21-minute long video. So, um, congratulations to everybody again. Thank you guys for all my new sus subscribers, all my new subbies. Thank you guys. If I have not gotten around to subscribing back to you, as I get through with this video, I will go through and look through all my new subscribers and subscribe back to you guys as well. Um, until Cycle Day 1, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.